Tigers, Lee Warner. Been a titan in this first couple of weeks. Ball's there for, finds Lele Wassa, but coming through was Blythe illegally though. Easy, six. Jake Strawn is your goal kicker tonight if you're a Western Force fan, and he adds three points. Here's O'Connor again, taking the ball to the line and releasing McCry. He looks inside to Hamish Stewart. Oh, sliced them open, did the Queensland Reds. Flattened up beautifully and gave a piece of a pass to McWright and adds the extras nicely. Stewart around the back play to O'Connor to Bataya running a lovely line. Here's Campbell with a clean pair of heels. The Reds are in again. Oh, great sounds of the game there. Lele Wassa chips over the top. There's no one there. And it falls into the hands of Godwin. A good way to take away the uncertainty of set-piece execution is to put the ball in behind with a kick and then get all over it. And over goes the conversion, the advantage. Number three. Al Fotoaka. He's off to spend yeah, 10 in the okay. bin. Win probability here for the Western Force. <laughs> They've crunched the numbers. And so far... The force hitting the lead now. Solid comeback game for Hunter Paisami. That one lost forward by Blythe for a long time. And it's straight over the black dot. Penalty advantage. Okay, short side. Here's Pulu. Tony Pulu chips ahead. Finds Lele Wasa. He's winning the race so far. They slide in. It's a collision of bodies. And Crichton... Saves the day for the Reds. The Force retake the lead. It's quick ball. O'Connor again. Dribbles it in behind there. It is for Fluke. What a finish. That ball, that is right on the touchline, and O'Connor has drilled it. Superb. Life finds O'Connor. O'Connor to McWright! O'Connor adds the extras. Looking for one more, the Queensland Reds. Nope, they aren't. That's full time here at HBF Park. Job done for the Queensland Reds in a week where South East Queensland's done it really tough. The Reds provide a smile. Full-time, Reds 29, Force 16.